Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. All right, uh, Scorpio, current energy we have the four of swords here, right? So there is a lack of communication between you guys. This is also no communication. Strength here, what's on your mind is you're holding back from this person, okay? You're withholding from this person, trying to tame your emotions towards this person, okay? Although you definitely want to go towards this person. What they are doing is the Eight of Pentacles. I feel this person is very, very focused on their career, their goals, their business, their money, etc. Okay, they're working very diligently towards their own selves. Okay. In your feelings, you have the King of Swords here. Okay, so you definitely want some kind of clear communication. All right. <coughs> you are wanting to talk to them. In their feelings, is they're very focused. Like I said, right? King of Pentacles in reverse. Someone who's non-committal, but at the same time, they're just not focused on... Um, their relationship or something long term okay they're more focused on their um inner goals they have their own visions but this is someone very materialistic okay so they're very focused on their money right now uh the mutual energy between you both is death in reverse you both don't want to let this go that's so sweet but then at the same time you're both withholding from each other okay this person looks like they're trying to distract themselves okay from trying to talk to you whilst you're holding back to okay you do want communication with the king of swords okay you're having a very logical approach towards this person here <clears throat> this person is very stubborn right now okay they're very set in their ways they want to do things their way only okay there's a certain way they like to do it and they don't like to listen to anyone okay why is the four of swords here <clears throat> King of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Wands. Definitely there is someone here, okay, who's trying to take a break from a situation here. Could be both of y'all, okay? But there is a lot of passion here with the King of Wands here. Someone wants to take that um, action towards you, Scorpio. This could be you, but they're waiting for the right time with the Wheel of Fortune here, okay? They want growth expansion with you. They're waiting for the right time. With the Six of Wands here, this is someone who's very, very determined to move forward, okay? Want victory. This is also the card of marriage, commitment, okay? So definitely someone here who is very passionate about you, okay? They're zoned in on you. They're looking at you, okay? But they're just going to wait for the right time and they're trying to heal, okay? With the Four of Swords here. I'm getting more of thinking, rejuvenating, recuperating, getting their shit together is what I'm getting. <clears throat> Tell me about the strength. Hmm. Scorpio, you right now, you're definitely um, cutting communication, okay, with someone here, okay, because you're trying to, you want balance in a situation and probably you feel that by cutting out someone who's been very cold, icy, detached towards you or someone who's been very manipulative towards you, okay, a liar or a cheater, you feel it's right only to cut this person off and work on yourself with the queen of wands here, okay, you have a lot of passion for this person, we have the king and the queen here, it's a very divine pair, okay, <coughs> a very spiritual connection here, but you're very focused on yourself right now, okay? You're just going to do what makes you happy, wh whatever your passions are. You're taking action, but not towards this person. I feel you're trying to cut this person out, okay? Because of this person's approach towards you, okay? Who was very rash. Someone who always manipulated the situation, you know? The truth. They never talked about, they never said the truth to you, okay? And that's how you're trying to b bring in balance to yourself, okay? And you think that's by holding back from them. <clears throat> eight of pentacles yeah this person with the page of wands here okay this person definitely has a lot of passion for you they want to they want to move towards you in a new direction okay they have a lot of enthusiasm okay this person definitely wants to take a new path with you but with the knight of wands in reverse here this is someone who's not still uh coming towards you in the right approach Okay, you're dealing with someone who's been very in and out of your life. Okay, but with the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Temperance here, they want, again, I'm getting, this is exactly this person, okay? This is someone who wants to move towards you, but they're too fucking slow. They're too slow out here, okay? With the Temperance here, it's all about the divine timing, right? Something's going to take a lot of patience, a lot of time to come towards you. And this is what this person's doing. They're too slow, okay? With the Page of Wands here, this is a very light-hearted energy, okay? But, um... When it comes to uh, rushing towards you, they're in no hurry. They're in no hurry right now, you know. <clears throat> I think all their focus is on working on themselves, okay. They're trying to leave it to the universe that if it's meant to happen, it will be, okay. 
Why is the King of Swords here in Scorpio's feelings? This person could be very busy with the Eight of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles here. <clears throat> King of Swords, yeah, I think you have a very logical approach towards this, okay? You're trying to heal from a breakup, okay? The separation, Three of Swords in reverse, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. You want a practical new beginning with this person, okay? You're probably even looking for commitment here. But right now, your focus is yourself, your financial independence, your own self-worth, okay? You're working on your goals. You both are doing the same thing. What I don't like is this person is more focused on just the materialistic, materialistic aspect, whilst you are focused on a brand new beginning, okay? you There is an opportunity that's being presented to you, okay? And your feelings, you want this with this person. But for right now, you're choosing to work on yourself, focusing on your um, energy, your self-worth, okay? By trying to move on from this person, but trying to heal is what I'm getting, okay? You're being very logical, Scorpio, okay? You are a water sign, but you feel it's the right thing to do again because justice here, right? You're cutting someone out who is just not communicating well with you or someone who is just very manipulative is what I'm getting, okay? <clears throat> What's the king of pentacles in reverse? See? See? Exactly. That's why I told you that they're not in the right energy. You know, usually if there's someone here who definitely has the right intentions of working towards their own goals, they would be in the upright. They're in the reverse, which means they've withdrawn, okay, themselves here right now. They're trying to distract themselves and do what they can to not think about this breakup, okay, because it's hurting them, right? Four of Wands, Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Queen of Cups. This person is fucking in love with you. They're in love with you. They want to recover the situation. They want to get this. They want a resurrection. Something ended badly here, okay? Something ended badly here between you and them, okay? Whatever the ending was, right? They want to get this back. They want to. They want a reconciliation with you. They want recovery, okay? To the situation. And with the four of wands here, this person definitely wants marriage, long-term commitment with you. Queen of cups, they're trusting their intuition. But I feel this is someone who loves you very, very much. There is a lot of love here. They want to heal this connection, but they're choosing not to focus on this, thinking that they'll shut their eyes and the situation will go away. But you're still there in their feelings. They can't do much about it. They're acting very slow moving with the temperance here, okay? But look at the amount of passion they have. The Knight of Wands in reverse is a very reckless, impulsive energy. You know, they want your attention very badly. They do, okay? <clears throat> This is someone who could be like, you know, I'm okay without you, you know. I mean, that's the kind of energy they would show you, you know. Like, they're okay without you. I mean, they don't need you, you know. The breakup is fine, you know. They're going to move on, etc. But that is bullshit. That is bullshit. Death in reverse is your mutual energy. What the hell are you talking about, bro? Look how badly they want to communicate with you. They want to initiate the communication. But I feel... <laughs> you know what I feel with the temperance here? They're purposely making you wait. They're making you wait. Probably they're waiting for you to communicate with them. That's why, see, there's that energy of, I want this now. I want to move forward now. I want my Scorpio, blah, blah, blah. You know, but it's like holding on their horses, you know. Like, if they let the rain go, they would just, like, crash into a wall is what I'm getting. They're in that much of a hurry. They're just trying to tame themselves as much as they can. <clears throat> why is the death in reverse here? They're going through a burnout, you know. They're so exhausted. Why is the death in reverse here? <clears throat> See, death in reverse here. Yeah, you both cannot let this end, okay? The problem here is that with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here, right? Someone is fed up on of investing into this connection over and over again, okay? It's like, I have put in so much work. I feel it's you, Scorpio, okay? You, you put in so much work here. You're completely exhausted, okay? Because this is a situation where you've put in a lot of investment, okay? But there was a lack of fruition, okay, to this connection here, which has kept you, it's just left you in the dark. So this situation is known to you or both of you, okay? But you're both still not ready to let go. The ending is there. There has been an ending, but none of you want to let it go. Because A, I think there's a lack of clarity, okay? I think you're both focusing on the negative part of the uh, relationship rather than focusing on the positive. You're being very pessimistic, both of you, or one of you even more here. Someone out here is fed up of putting in the work, okay? Because they've waited and waited and waited for things to come into fruition, okay? To get the rewards of whatever they've, um, hard work they've put in into this connection, okay? 
but they're giving up. Someone's just frustrated with the delays because there was someone here who was anyways very slow moving, okay? The Knight of Pentacles, that's the kind of energy where you literally feel you're being fucked with, you know? Because this person is just a slow moving. I feel this is, this is this person you're dealing with, okay? And now, for right now, they're completely stagnant, completely at a halt. Why? Because I feel this person is very overburdened with their inner goals, okay? This person could be someone who's... Uh, even could be struggling financially okay because see how hard they're working with eight of pentacles that's in the upright here okay so they're very focused on working okay so right now they want to uh, give this a break they want to see where this goes okay they're being very patient and they're leaving everything to the divine but right now the you both don't want to let it go and because this person's not communicating with you right it's leaving you both in the dark yeah but there's a lot of frustration here because things are just not you're not being able to reap the rewards you know <clears throat> why seven of swords why is the seven of swords here oh <clears throat> you're moving away from this person scorpio with a hermit here you're completely going to be withdrawn that's the action you're taking with the seven of swords here i think you're being very strategic but you're being very very um let's say you're being very quiet about your moves Okay, with the seven of swords here. That's what I'm getting. I'm feeling you're very withdrawn. You're being very quiet about your moves. You're not making a lot of noise. Okay, no matter how much it hurts you, right? With death here, you feel the need to put an ending to this. Okay, and you want to move away from this person here. Because you're doing a lot of thinking about what you need to do, what you need to do, right? But with the seven of swords here, I feel instead of facing the situation or instead of trying to communicate with this person, right? I think you're trying to escape. You know, you're trying to get away with something. <clears throat> This is very sneaky behavior, Seven of Swords. But to me, it looks like you're just trying to be very, very logical out here. Very strategic. You know, like stealth mode is what I feel. You're just completely ghosting this person. Completely. With a hermit here, okay? With a Six of Swords, you're creating that mental, physical distance between you guys, alright? But you feel the need to move away. You just want to be alone. Take some time as to this ending. You know, that has occurred between you guys with a death here. I feel if this person doesn't come towards you, ultimately you're going to completely let it go, okay, with the death here. Because that's your plan with the seven of swords, your stealth mode, you're completely disappearing, you know. This person will never find you again. That was a little over-exaggerated, well, but I, I just feel, I mean, you understand what I'm saying, right? <clears throat> this person, queen of cups in reverse here, why is this the action that this person will take? Thank God. I really like this. But anyways, the outcome is a little nasty. Uh, the Queen of Cups in Reverse is clarified by the Page of Swords in Reverse. Knight of, Knight of Cups in the Judgment here. This person is very emotionally shut off. Okay. They're being very emotionally unavailable right now. But I'm getting emotionally manipulated. They have so much love for you. With the Knight of Cups here. They want a resurrection. Okay. Like I said, Knight Judgment here. Ten of Swords in reverse here. They want this reconciliation. They want to marry you, okay? They do because the love is strong. But when it comes to their action towards you, they're going to show you as someone who's very detached, very cold, you know, very quick to detach, very unavailable. They're very resentful towards you is what I'm getting, you know? They're very hurt. Again, the love is there, okay? They want to come in and express. They want to give you this love offer, okay? Because, but with the page of swords in reverse here, they're not taking that action. That's what my problem is. Cups is just emotions, right? But the page of swords in reverse, that's my problem here. These two cards here, they want a resurrection. They want a reconciliation. They want the situation. They want to turn the situation around. But when it comes to doing, implementing on their ideas, they're just going to watch you, stalk you, you know, uh, look at you from a distance, okay? But that's all. That's about it that they're going to do. Why is the Six of Cups in reverse? I think that's what's going to leave a bad taste in your mouth. Because um, <clears throat> you'll probably miss or remember this person and have and, and more like recollect more of the negative memories, okay, in this relationship. <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles, star. All right. Six of Cups in reverse. What the hell? That's not how I, I was thinking this would turn out to be. Six of cups in reverse, okay? Yes, this, this is holding on to a grudge. But now I feel that this is also letting go of the bad memories, letting go of the past. I think that's what this person is coming in with. With the judgment and the knight of cups in reverse here. They are in two minds, okay? They, they're thinking a lot about you. But I think ultimately they're going to come in towards you. 
okay, with the judgment and knight of cups here, because the six of cups in, is <coughs> in reverse is clarified by the queen of pentacles, the star and the knight of cups. You have two fucking wish fulfillment cards, Scorpio. Damn. This person with the queen of pentacles here, this is someone who wants something stable with you. They're ready to commit. They're ready to put in the effort, okay? That's how they see you. They see you as a badass. They see you as someone very practical, logical, whatever it is, okay? You have a wish come true with the star and nine of cups. There's a lot of healing that has happened in this situation, okay? There's been a lot of time gone by before this person comes in. I think you've both recovered okay that's why the death in the reverse here okay because mutually you both don't want to let it go you're forcibly letting go because six of swords is a forced departure okay nine of cups emotional i mean this is wish fulfillment wow star and the queen of pentacles looks like they're coming in towards you with that commitment coming in towards you wanting to uh give you offer you something stable something committed something long term okay damn scorpio that took me off guard <laughs> I guess that's what I label this. All right, Scorpio, I'm so happy for you guys. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.